Welcome to the Art of Hitting channel. Today we got a short clip on uh, your your stance, uh, getting a good position in the box, the rotation of your hips, the importance of that. And uh, I want you to focus on some of the uh, the nuances of, uh, of the uh, of the swing in the feet. Watch the feet. Watch how the feet help the hips move, and that's critical. And Bob Waldike and Bob O'Brien are going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, their views on uh, how to make this happen. But uh, let's go through and watch these major leaguers at first. Well, look at these two uh, swings side by side. I think the one guy on the left side is Aaron Judd. I'm not sure who the other guy is. But watch their feet and watch their hip motion. And uh, as they put on the bottom there, you can read as well as I can, is that the weight is shifting too much before launch on the, on the right side, if you will, the, the lure guy. But I like the way he turns them hips, and you see how that. But if you watch the, the hips turning on, on the little guy in front, but Aaron opens up more, and you can see more of that weight being transferred. You get the power from the ground. You're initiating the power from the ground. That's why you load on your back leg, and, and then you explode. And let me let uh, Bob, and, uh, Bob uh, tell you. A little more about that but it's very interesting and uh you know you wouldn't look at these things these two swings and say hey uh one's bad one's good I, you know they look good to me but i get the point that they're making because that's the nuance of the swing so but listen uh look at this uh, you don't have to do it picture perfect but that's why it's art of hitting but the the main point is the hip and the rotation in the hands things at once. Watch this. I'm going to work on two things at once. My stride, direction. A little, little, little more time. All right, here we go. We're ready. Now I'm working on my stride, my hips, and my hands. I didn't spin on my back toe, did I? Maybe I got to put a little Velcro on the bottom of my board. So here we go. Pick it up, put it down, rotate. Decent contact. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. So now it looks good from here. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Everybody got it? If you like it, give me a little huh? golf clap. I wish. Maybe, maybe Sonny Johnson. That <laughs> is tremendously important to a fast swing. If you ever look at somebody that's got a great swing, he's got fast, good hip rotation. So, as you're striding, you point your toe, your back foot is going to pivot, which will open your hips. And then, as your hips rotate open, you lock your front leg, which pushes the front part of your hip back for more, even greater hip rotation. So, as you're striding, you come down, hip rotation. Now, the hips will go first. So, your hips will start your swing. The hips will lead before the hands. It's real fast, but your hips go first. So in other words, you stride, you drive with that hip. You want to drive with that hip. Hip rotation, that's where the rotation comes from your hips. You keep your hands back, ready to extend later and get the arm extension. As you start your hip rotation, your back foot pivots to make your hips rotate. Notice how the hands are back and now you just start to rotate your hips as fast as possible and as much as possible so that when you're done swinging your hips will be pointed towards the pitcher open wide as much hip rotation as you can generate so remember the faster your hips are the faster your hands are going to be the faster your bat speed is going to be here we have uh Ryan Harvey, one of the best home run hitters in the game, one of the best hitters in the game, top of his game. Uh, he does everything uh, pretty perfect, in my opinion. Uh, now, the way he developed his own style. Now, you see he's got a heel-toe approach to his, his stance, and, and he, in his um, uh, mechanics, he takes a long, linear uh, step forward as I usually do, but when I start out, I have my feet together. Uh, I just developed that over the years in softball. You certainly don't do that in baseball. Uh, 
that's why I call it the art of hitting. You can develop your own mechanics. I do the same thing that he's doing, but from a different starting point. He gets in the box with a balanced uh, uh, athletic stance, which is the most important thing. You balance, just like in football. You know, you got a center of gravity. You want to start from a balanced position. Then you want to get your weight on your back foot, and you want to transfer your weight uh, in the swing. Don't put your, don't have your all your weight on your front foot when you start your swing. You've lost all all the power you generated from the ground. So that's the key. That's why your footwork's important. And um, you'll see a lot of these guys uh, um, that do that, like throw their back leg nowadays. They got so much weight, but they got all that power going forward. So again. Uh, you look at this and you try to duplicate what works for you. And as long as you're being successful and hitting over 700 and getting on base. And that is Watch Mary Williams, uh, 2020. Look at, look at his stance. Boom. Not a very long stride at all. Hardly any. So that's his style. And he's a 2024 nominee for the Legends Hall of Fame. He started with me years ago in a 35, well, when he was a young man in Melbourne, Florida. Now we're going to move on to a swing by Dan Carlson. You see, Dan's got a walk-up type of style. But when you walk up, look, he takes that step. Now he's playing it just like he was standing still. And it's just, you know, he's moving up on the ball. And it opens his hip. Let's look at that again so you get another way to look at it. So don't get distracted by his walk-up because eventually every, they stop and they plan and do just what they could do if they're standing still. See, he just, that, that looks like I just took out the walk-up and that's him swinging at the end. So you get an idea. Now you're going to uh, look at a video of me swinging, which is uh, totally different. I keep my feet together. But then I take that long stride like Ryan Harvey and I, and I get everything into it. You see every bit of my uh, being in my hips and they open and they open on time, fast bat. So listen, I hope you enjoyed that. We got a lot more videos coming for you in 2024. We're going to uh, go to 2,000 subscribers if you help us. Pass it on. You know, send it to your friends. You know, get everybody to subscribe. I talked to one of my teammates the other day. No, I didn't subscribe. I said, it's free, dude. Oh, okay, I'll subscribe. <laughs>